What's up guys? I'm heading home. Woohoo! A little behind today because we were me and my dad were out doing some things. Uh looks like I'm gonna be start working on my house next week. <coughs> There's a crap load of stuff that's gotta be done at my house next week. Like uh it's looking like all kinds of stuff need to be done at my house next week. Uh we gotta work on the bathrooms. Uh, one of the bathrooms, there's a crack in the in the sink, so we have to replace the sink. There's a spot in the in the bathtub it's that leaks, so we have to fix that. We're gonna put up a border around there so that we can put a shower into my into my bathtub, so that there's a shower and a bathtub instead of just a bathtub. Uh, we're gonna put a door in that bathroom to go to the outside, which is gonna go into a new bedroom once we put a wall up, which will make my house a four bedroom house instead of a three bedroom house, which will make it worth a lot more. So that, that's a good thing. And we also gotta fix something like the plunger thing in the toilet because the toilet won't flush because the plunger is broke. And then in the other bathroom, we're gonna put in a vanity sink because there's no sink in there so we found one that's about you can get for like 60 bucks which is a pretty good deal sorry i had to slow down a little bit there's some idiot trying to get on the highway with the diesel right beside me and i wasn't for sure if he was gonna have to get over or not but uh yeah in that other bathroom we got to put a vanity in which is gonna cost about 70 bucks, I think, for that. And then uh, from there, we got we got to run a, a stake through the line because we think that there's a little bit of a clog, not a horrible clog, but there's a little bit because sometimes you gotta flush that toilet twice instead of just once. Let's see what else needs to be done. Uh, the floor in the kitchen has to be completely redone. So we have to pull up all the floor and redo that whole floor which is not gonna be cheap. Uh, redo that sink because there's two uh, O-rings on it that are broke, so we're gonna have to put a new sink in there. Uh, probably fix all the cabinets. Uh, oh, there's a spot on my roof that has to be screwed back down, so we gotta fix that. Uh, the guttering needs to be fixed on one side of the house, not on all the sides of the house, just on one side because it's falling down and we have boards holding them up. So we're gonna have to fix that guttering, which hopefully that won't take that much. Should be pretty easy to fix. Just gotta put a new running board on there and then nail the guttering back onto the running board. So that should be a pretty e pretty easy thing to fix. And then I think that's it. I think that's all that really needs to be fixed at the house. But in the process of that, we gotta go and fix uh, some stuff at my dad's house in Bourbon because he wants to sell it. Uh, so they gotta fix the water line because when they were trying to fix it last year, before winter hit, uh, they thought they had it fixed, but then they realized that it was water was coming up from the ground outside because there was a crack somewhere in the water line. Then they got that one fixed and then they realized there was another crack in it. So they have to fix both spots and they just assume that they just pull it all up so they're gonna cut the whole thing out uh cut the whole yard where that line is and then put a whole new line in that way it won't leak like it'll fix all the cracks instead of uh just a couple of few cracks that are actually in there so so that'll be pretty should be pretty easy to fix but it's probably gonna take a couple days and plus we're gonna put tile down in that floor at my dad's house in bourbon so that's going to take a little a little bit of time, you know, because putting tile down sucks. But if you do it right, it turns out really good. So uh, we got to do all that in bourbon. And that's, that should be, shouldn't be that big of a, a deal. So that'll, that'll be pretty easy. But the more I help him, the more cheaper it will make my bill that's going to be at my house from all the stuff that I got to get fixed, which we're assuming is going to cost between like, Two thousand and maybe three thousand dollars. I'm not I'm not really sure. So uh, we just gotta we gotta work on that and uh, figure out 
how much it's going to cost me. And hopefully, hopefully we can keep it under three thousand because I'm not rich by any damn means. So hopefully, like I said, we can keep it under three thousand, which is definitely, definitely the plan. Um, so this weekend uh, coming up, we're going to be going to this metal detected hunt, <coughs> which we were going to camp. But now it's looking like it's going to rain all damn weekend. So there ain't going to be no camping. So we're going to have to stay at a hotel. Um, me and I, Brianna and Dad are going I, uh, and uh, to this hunt. Uh, oh, somebody's, the diesel in front of me must have some problems because he has his caution lights on. See that? He's got his caution lights on, so... He must have something wrong. But, but anyways, uh, like I said, we're going to a hunt this weekend. Uh, metal detected hunt, if you don't know what that is. They like plant coins in the ground. And then you have like so many minutes. To, it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt, but with coins buried in the ground. And you got to take your metal detector and you got to find them, dig them up. And you only got, usually a hunt can last for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then all the coins are found. It's pretty pretty quick. It happens pretty quick. <clears throat> the last one I went to, I did pretty good. I got like over $100 worth of silver. So, I mean, not silver coins, but actual silver. Uh, silver dimes, silver quarters. Real, real silver, not coins that are silver. Uh, so, that, that was pretty good. I ended up getting a silver round and a couple other tokens for... Stupid crap that I didn't really want. I gave my daughter. I think it was a, a pouch and and a hat. I think got thrown away. And as, I, as you can see, my my bald ass don't uh, wear hats, and I probably should to cover up my baldness. But uh, yeah, it should be a fun weekend. Uh, I think we're going to the Precious Moments thing. I, I guess there's like a museum up there where we're gonna be at, and there, the museum has like a Precious Moments place, and so we're going to be spending some time at that Precious Moments place. Dad, Dad wants to go over and see it. I've never seen it. It ought to be, it's still, even though it's kind of a girly thing, it'll still be cool to see because I've never seen it. So it actually might be kind of for everybody. But sounds kind of girly. But anyways, it's some kind of Precious Moments thing that's up there. So it should be pretty fun. Uh, Brianna is pretty excited because we're going to, uh, Dad said we're going to stay at a hotel where there's pools. So... <coughs> She'll get to play in the pool, so that should make her really happy. Because when we're not out and about, she can play in the pool. And all kids love pools. So, uh. Anyways, guys, what are you guys having for supper tonight? Comment below and let me know. Uh, we're having a, we're having a treat with, uh, lettuce, tomato, and onion. Which should be really good. I can't wait. It sounds really good. It's going to be delicious. But that's our planned meal for the night treat with lettuce tomato and, and onions uh what are you guys having but uh what else what else is going on uh, i don't really think there's much much more going on uh about, about to be home and right now it ain't freaking raining which is kind of shock it's all it's been doing for like the last what two three weeks it's been just rain 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 and sick of rain you know what i'm saying Yeah, I, I don't know about the Precious Moments. I've never been there. But uh, from what my dad said, by what he's seen online, he uh, he said it's actually a pretty pretty neat place. It's actually it's pretty fun. Uh, not for sure if it's really for men, like I said, but it sounds like it'd be entertaining either way, you know. So I'm not really for sure. Have you ever been there? Or are you have you just read about it? Well, almost home. Almost home. My daughter should be home already. She beat me home after. Yeah, I've never been there, so I mean, it it's, should be fun. And uh, from what you guys say, it sounds like it's actually probably a, a pretty cool, 
pretty cool thing so I definitely want to see it uh, it can't remember what town my dad said it was in but uh, we're, we're gonna be up there by that anyway so 